Welcome to Castle Class Presents Roll 20. I'm your guide, Corey Longnecker. This is Class 8, where we are going to be talking about a dynamic lighting tool. It's called Torch. Uh, effectively, it simulates the ability of a player to carry a torch, so that if you are using dynamic lighting in your game, and it is dark, maybe in a cavern or a cave, or even just a, a, a dark underground jail or lair, um, that you maybe they don't have dark vision, maybe they're a human without it and they want to light a torch. It simulates that uh, ability and it follows the player. It's not something you have to click and move with the player. It's pretty handy. It is available from within the Roll20 script library. So you can go into that and install it from there within your API section. Um, if you are new to us, this is maybe the first video you've seen. You might wanna go back and look at our earlier videos where I explain how to add the um, APIs, how to install them. Uh, I go through that in detail there, so that might be something to look at. So when we jump in, I've already got the dynamic lighting set up. I've already got the API installed. I've already got the macros. There's gonna be two of them. I'll put them in the description um, for torch on and torch off. Um, those are all set up. So again, if you need to see how to install a macro, earlier videos, I go through it. Uh, dynamic lighting is something a little different. I have not gone into it in any detail whatsoever. I don't think I've even mentioned it until now. Um, there are a lot of good videos out there on dynamic lighting. I will provide a link to one that I think is really good. It's the one I followed when I first started doing it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good description of, of how to set up dynamic lighting and the benefits of it. So with that said, we're gonna jump right in and just show you how this works and we'll get to it. So let me move some things around here so you can see and we'll launch our game and we'll dive into the Torch uh, API because it's a cool one. So I've already got some things set up here and I'll just show you the dynamic lighting layer so you can see I've got my boundary set up very crudely. I did it very quickly and then I've got a door set up here so that it will block the light coming in. I've also done something. Um, I've created a character sheet called Torch and I can put them wherever I want to simulate a torch on a wall, and it will provide the light that a torch would um, for that. So I've already got those set up. Another trick you're gonna want is if you click on your token, um, you can hit Control L, and that will simulate what your player sees um, when they do it. I must not have him set up properly for this. Uh, I don't, I'll player C light. And this is, let's say he's a human, so he doesn't have any of this. So if I do that and I hit Control L again, it's still not working correctly. Let's make sure that this is done correctly. That is, uh, has sight. Ah, forgot to check that. All players see light and he has sight. So 360 degrees, um, one multiplier because he is not a dark vision person. Control L, aha, here we go. So. This is the way dynamic lighting works with those boundaries. You can see the torches are illuminating a space that he can see. He can see down this hallway because of this, but he cannot see um, anywhere else in here. So um, if I move him over here and I do the same thing, control L, he can see through this open doorway into this jail cell and he's got these things set up that way. And as I move, you can see what his line of sight appears to be. Um, so that's kind of cool. So now let me do something and remove all of these torches. Maybe he walks into this first room and you see how it gets noticeably darker? All he can see is this one torch down the hallway. Maybe he wants to light a torch. So I've got the uh, macros here at the bottom, which you can't see. Let me bump this up just a little bit. There we go. Uh, I've got one called Torch On and Torch Off. I'll give you the code in the description. Very easy stuff. Um, maybe he strikes a torch. So I hit Torch On. You see it light up in here. So I hit Control L again. You'll see there's a radius of bright and dim that follows him as if he was carrying a torch. So wherever he goes, it's gonna mimic the effects of a torch. Pretty cool. So if you're using dynamic lighting, really, really, really cool way to um, 
make it to where a player can carry a torch without having to click a separate token and move it around with him. Uh, and when you're done, torch off, goes away, strikes another one, torch on. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool function. I'll just go through and delete all these other ones just so you can really see uh, what it looks like and, and how it functions for for a player. Maybe this is just a completely darked out thing. He doesn't have anything in here. He stumbles down into here uh, and he needs to strike a torch. So he strikes his torch and now he walks around. So Kerados is walking around. He comes down here, sees a gate, walks back up here, sees this hallway decides to walk down the hallway and with dynamic lighting and his torch it gives him what he can see opens up the various rooms um, again because I have this door blocked with the dynamic lighting you can't see it but as he walks in here turns the corner um, you can see what you can see with his torch so that's torch um, I use the most basic form of it. There are other options in here. So if you hit torch, it's gonna. That's the key to 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 light it up. The other one is snuff. That turns it off. And I believe torch help. No. Um, yes, torch space dash dash help will give you the uh, all the things in chat to what it does. You can do like the radius, where it's dim, who sees it, which tokens, the angle, snuff turns it off. Um, there's a flicker option, which I don't use, but it apparently uh, mimics the flicker of a torchlight to just add some, some cool stuff to your, to your game. Um, it's just a really neat uh, tool that if you're using dynamic lighting to, to up your game. So I highly recommend using torch if you're using dynamic lighting. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for your players to track who's doing what without having to have a separate token being dragged around. Macros will be in the description. Link to the dynamic video or dynamic lighting video will be in the description. Um, and yeah, really cool stuff. So next time, episode nine, closing in on the end here. I think we're gonna we're gonna finish at ten. Episode nine, we're gonna be going into or class nine, we're gonna be going into token mod specifically for druids in wild shape to where you can set up different character sheets have them ready and your druid can click a button choose what they want a wild shape into and it will change their token uh change their hit points and and do all of those things there's a little bit of setup required but really really neat stuff so until next time thank you for tuning in and talk to you later